Hey guys, Exmor here and today I have a nice new machine for you. So, over here I have an extremely small falling edge detector. Oh, wait. Yes, falling edge detector. So, what means falling edge detector? It, if you have no redstone signal, wait, let me build an output over here. Something like this to indicate it. So, it doesn't power if we turn it on, but if we turn it off. But why isn't it the same as a redstone torch, so inverting stuff? Well, it's pretty simple. The falling edge detector gives uh, off a pulse only. You see, it's only short pulsing and not giving a constant signal. So. This uses a bug which has been in Minecraft since a pretty long time, but I don't call it bug anymore, I do it like Mojang, I call it feature, because they don't fix it and it's all fine. So, what the bug is about. Pistons can be powered from blocks uh, on which a redstone torch is on. So, you see, they, the pistons are beneath a block where a redstone torch is on, and the redstone torch powered, powers the pistons from right there. So, that has been in Minecraft for a pretty long time. And there's even a bug, so this was some time ago, there was it even possible like this to power through. Now, you can't do it like that anymore, you need to change it a little bit, you need a block on the side and place a redstone torch on the side of the block. Then you can power through this block, even if there's air or anything, so that's quite interesting. I mean, the redstone torch is actually always at the same position, only here it has a different um, meter data, so that it is on the side of a block. But yeah, so um, I used this bug to make this falling edge detector. Which works like following, if you, so right now, the thing is powered from this redstone torch. <coughs> oh, sorry, I'm still a little bit of a sick, guys. I had an inflammation of the middle ear and I was, uh, I had a cold and everything, but I'm on the way to be fine again. So uh, anyway, <laughs> over here right now, this piston is powered by this redstone torch and if we flick this lever, it will still get the power through and let this um, piston extend it. Well, this torch turns off one redstone tick after the lever was flicked. And if we now flick it up again, so there's no power, there will be for one redstone tick no power uh, going into this piston, so it will retract. But one tick after this lever was pulled up again, this redstone torch will turn on again and causing the piston to extend. Did it? Did it? Did it? So that's how this works, and we can get a pulse or a signal from over there. You see? A short pulse. Now, this is a bad place because of it's powering from over there. Let me quickly set up something like this. A very short pulse, but we can't use it for anything. So let me show it to you if I place a sticky piston. The piston doesn't even react to it, and normally the pistons are the thing that react the best to short signals. Uh, but if we just place a repeater over there, whoops, it will react. And actually, because this is a one tick pulse. It will be kind of a T flip flop, kind of a T flip flop, kind of a T flip flop. Blah. I still have problems with A and N, so with a, a house and an elephant. Sometimes I'm messing up there. I, I know how it works, but yeah. So um, now to make this to a very compact T flip flop, we just place a piston over here, a block of redstone over there. And then we have our output over here. So that's because this block of redstone, when it's retracted, it will 
sent a short pulse, a very short pulse, directly into this piston above. This piston can directly get the one tick signal and that will cause the piston to extend and leave the block over here. So it's simple as that and yeah. So uh, as a T flip flop with a button I can show you. You would call it slow. That's because it has a falling edge detector so if the power goes away and when you press a button first the power will come and then it will uh, the button will retract so it will again send no power and that takes some time so this is actually a slow T flip flop but we can improve the speed by inverting the input so then we have a rising edge detector and that will cause the T flip flop to seem faster but the actual mechanic behind it is still uh, as fast as before. So now this is the, I call it old design for a, a rising edge detector and this is used um, often in some T flip flops like this. Does it work like this? Auto block? Yes. So. But this design has the one problem. Wait, can I? Should be a. I should be able to. I uh, know. I am not able to make it smaller. So this design is actually one, two, three by one, two, three, four, five, six blocks. So uh, three by six by one blocks. So that's 18 in total. While this one over here, even though it's kind of slow. It's 2x2x4, two by two by that's 16. So 16 compared to 18. This one is actually a little bit smaller. But yeah, um, the main thing I wanted to show you was uh, that you can make use of this feature with redstone torches. So yeah, um, I hope you liked it and can make use of it. And yeah, so see you next time, guys. Bye.